All right, welcome back. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you a website that will let you read blogs, listen to podcasts, check out news, and do everything you want to do, but all contained in one website. So you won't even have to leave one website to do all these things. You can check your email, your social networking sites. You can really do it all within one website. I'll also show you how to scan every website that you normally look at in just a few minutes. Normally you're opening and closing websites and looking at the news and going to your social bookmarking sites and networking sites and social media sites. You can go to one website and look at all of this in under a few minutes. Discuss the importance of RSS and what that is and what that means to you and to your website. I'll show you how to set up this free website and then we'll also discuss the importance of why your personal website needs RSS. So let's get started. The site I want to talk about is netvibes.com. And Google has a very similar service called iGoogle, but I really like NetVibes uh, for several reasons. So here's my site. And um, this is a site I go to every day. In fact, I have it set up as my main page, my home page so that I automatically go here first. So you'll notice I set up my main page and it has some different things, dig and some Craigslist information and some other areas. But I also have these tabs set up so that if I want to read any tech news, I can just click on the tech tab, it's kind of hard to say, and it will take me to the important topics of today. So this is what Macworld is saying, and Mac Rumors, and Lifehacker. Uh, then I can go over to my blog section. And I have a couple blogs set up here. I can read all the blogs, see what is going on. I have some friends blogs, uh, Seth, Seth Godin, uh, freelance blogs. And then I can also go to my news tab see what is going on in the world with CNN, USA Today, ESPN, Fox News, and then Google. And I can click on any of these and I can read those. And then also I have a podcast tab set up and so I can listen to these podcasts. So notice when I, when I hover over an episode, it gives me a brief description and then I can even play this episode. So when I hit the play button. It goes up here. It'll load and it'll play right from the browser. I don't even need to go to this website to listen. So let's go back to the news section and let's see. I want to read about Woodstock. So I hover over this headline here and it tells me there were several other gatherings during the late 60s and early 70s, festival frenzy including. So that will give me just a brief synopsis of what this story is about. So if I click on this story, it will take me uh, to this, again, short synopsis of what this article is talking about. I can, I can go to the website and that'll open up another tab. Uh, I can go to the link. I can even share this email, Delicious, Dig, Facebook, Stumble, and other sharing services. So let's go back to news. And you'll see once I clicked on it, it went to this gray color. So that will show me what I've actually looked at, what I've read, and what I don't need to worry about anymore. So here is how you can look at every website you normally would go to, but you can do it under a few minutes. So I can scan all my blogs, my news, my sports, my podcast, all the tech headlines of the day in just a few minutes. I can even import my Facebook, my Gmail. I can do all of this in NetVibes. Here's my Facebook. If I would open up or connect with Facebook, it would open. I could import my Twitter and other social media services. And lastly, I can search within Google right from this page. So again, this is so important and it saves you so much time. If you're busy like I am, you can just go to this one website, netvibes.com, sign up for a free account, and it will let you import 
all of your websites into this one website. You can customize it with tabs and backgrounds and colors. So let's go into how you do this. All right, so once you've created your account, you can add content by clicking up here. And there's recommended, there's categories, there's essentials. You can add a feed, start wizard. There's several options. So here's the recommended tab. And I want to look at the New York Times. So it gives me a little brief synopsis of the different feeds. All I have to do is click the Add button. And it tells me that it's added. You'll see it loading right here. I can scroll down. And once it loads, you'll see that the New York Times is right there. I can go to the business section, U.S., opinion. I can even uh, twirl down here, and it gives me more options of what I want to read. So here's all the options of what I can read for the New York Times. So how does this website import all these other websites and blogs and podcasts and it does it through a thing called RSS and RSS oddly enough stands for really simple syndication and all that means is any website that has this little orange uh, speaker or uh, symbol here it just means that that has a feed or a channel so anytime new content is added to a website with this RSS RSS knows to alert me on my NetVibe site when that new content is posted. So I don't have to go to New York Times and see when new content is posted because RSS will blast that out to me. And that's really important for your own personal website to have RSS because that will enable viewers and visitors to go to your site without having to actually visit your site. They can read the content, see what's important, and then visit your site because they may not come to your site if you don't have RSS. So that's really important. So let's import our own RSS feed. So it says I can search for widgets here or I can add a feed. So let's click on add a feed. And it says enter a feed address or website URL for auto detection. So let's see what happens if I just put in uh, CNN.com. And there you go. The top stories come up. Or I can check out the most recent stories. And I could add those if I wanted to. Uh, let's do another one. Let's go to ESPN.com. And there's the feed. Now, let's say we don't know how to find a site or we don't want to spend the time typing in maybe a really long blog address. So... Well, let's just go to CNN.com. And once it loads, you'll notice this site actually has a blue icon for this RSS. And all I do is I click on that blue icon. It might be orange. It might be blue. It might be purple for all I know. And I can uh, subscribe to the CNN top stories or subscribe to the CNN recent stories. So let's click on top stories. And when it's loaded, it really gives me this boring, kind of ugly-looking website. Okay, so I could read these, or I could, you know, email them or dig or stumble Facebook. This is really what NetVibes is looking at. So I want to copy this website. And I go over to NetVibes. And I just paste the website that I just copied from CNN. I paste that in there, and I hit Add Feed, and there we go. There's CNN right there. I can click Add, and that will add that feed to my NetVibes. So NetVibes also gives you essential widgets. It really gives you a lot of options. Use NetVibes to save yourself time. Import them through RSS. Make sure your own website has RSS. And if it doesn't, get in touch with me because I can create a website for you that does have RSS or show you how to do it yourself. So thanks for watching, and we'll be back with another episode shortly.